right, guys. Good afternoon. My name is Jamie, and today we're going to be uh, playing City Skylines. So recently, I was looking through the achievements. It's always been a game I love playing. And so I was looking through the achievements, and I was like, oh, shoot. I get an achievement if I get 90,000 in population. So I said, you know what? Why not make this a journey? Uh, I'm going to show you some of the steps I go through. Uh, trust me, I'm just an amateur, but... It's going to be interesting. You're going to see some fires and you're going to see some people without water, but it's not intentional because it's just a game. All right, here we go. We're going to jump into this. All right, first off, once you get into the game, I always look for a map. Oh my gosh, look at this map. Lagoon Shore, Santa Vegas. I don't really do any customizations to the names because, you know, names are important. So I'm going to leave it as is. Let's see here. As it loads, it's talking about the hydro power plants, which is a plant that I really don't use because it will flood your whole city. So don't mess around with that. Let's see. Alright, hello, welcome. And first, so Gotta check out your water, um, and I'm gonna check out the water flow because oh, so that's important. We look like the water is flowing that way. Oh, it's a little lagoon. Look at there. Look at there. I can't wait to get this map open. Oh, All right. So first off, I like to keep my highways as is. So here's a little thing to do to cheat. So of course everything is locked until you build something. So build a road. One little road, right? Then that opens everything up for you. So now we're gonna go to our highways. drop this pumping station you don't need your people drinking dirty water so now I gotta move it and then of course they give you the move option so just want to get this in the current so it don't flow into the city because the last thing you want is the people drinking that water and it's just not good for them. Eventually, the, the water version of the wind turbine will be available, or the advanced one. So now, if you see there, it says, uh, once you put this wind turbine down, you see where it says uh, estimate, estimated production. That's how much speed you can get from them. So a lot of times you can move around and see how much power can I get from this bad boy. And then the people don't really care for them. So I'm 
gonna build it far away from my people. So you have these options here where you can use like select, you can do large areas, medium, small, or fill. I always like to start out with selection. Um, I like to select what I'm building. And so we'll just plot this whole area. I don't wanna get this, I wanna get the city going here. first houses coming in uh, of course down at the bottom right you see the little meter where hey we need people it's a new city it's a new town let's get people in here so that's what I'm doing I'll stick for it. and maybe somebody can have this palm tree in their backyard what is that right there so These build up eventually. Someone's gonna say, Hey, we need power. And what I'm gonna do is give them what they need. So, when I build, I always build everything in the inside, um, and then everything on the outskirts are normally used for services. And it's always To the inner circle, I call it inner circle. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get this game speed up. I think I got the general layout of what I want. So on the bottom left, I just went ahead and uh, held down the, the bumper button. And now we're going along. We're gonna build a little faster. So, so far I got the city going. Um, we got some houses down. We're working on power. And uh, I'll be back shortly. So this is uh, stage one. And then as you see on the bottom, everything is, um, they're wanting some industries to be built as well as some commercial. All right, I'll be back with you in a little bit. Jamie's out.